Hey, how you doing, guys? You doing good? Never mind. I don't care. I don't care how you're doing. I don't care how your feelings are. What do you think? This is Full House? No? You don't think this is Full House? Good, because it's not Full House. Today, we're going to be talking about a Kickstarter for a brand new site called SocialAutopsy.com. Uh, so just so you know what this site is, it's essentially a database for offensive people. Uh, like, uh, if I don't like something Cunty Dickless said on Twitter or Facebook, I can make a profile for Cunty Dickless and post all of his offensive posts there so that anybody who looks him up in the future will see all of his offensive posts and only those offensive posts. So, so as ridiculous as that idea is, uh, we've got the premise out of the way. So, so with the, all that out of the way, uh, let's watch the amazing video these fine folks have provided with us uh, on uh, their Kickstarter page. You know, wave goodbye to cyber bullies and trolls. Yeah, yeah. This, uh... Oh, fuck. Don't text me right now. I'm in the middle of... The human race has never been more connected. It takes a nanosecond, a mere push of a button to share our ideas, opinions, and emotions across the world instantly. But for every cat meme your best friend tweets at you, or for every I miss you comment your grandma leaves on your Facebook wall, there are literally thousands of instances of hate speech being circulated online. Because when communication happens through a screen, and when moments are experienced through a lens, a terrifying extraction takes place. The age of technology and social media has slowly disintegrated individual accountability. Now before we get to the next point here, I actually do agree with the thesis here. The internet has led to a lack of accountability, that much is absolutely true. We see this in swattings and doxings, like, like nobody would do those things if they thought internet anonymity wouldn't keep them safe. The problem is, this site is only going to make it easier for those people who do swat and who do dox to get vital information about people they don't like. You think you're creating a tool to end these kinds of things, but in reality, you're just making it easier. Even if my profile was somehow on there, if yours was too, I could still SWAT you. Because calling the SWAT team on a, on a particular person has nothing to do with my social media profile. I could still SWAT you and get away with it even if this site exists. This is exactly what I meant in my Defining the Regressive Left video when I said, the initial concern is something that we can all mostly agree on. Yes, internet anonymity can manifest itself in dangerous ways, but it's the solutions to these issues that divide actual liberals and the regressive left. Anyway, let's keep going, because it's great. The consequences of which are devastating. Oh my god, that, that bit's probably my favorite because they, they posted a news article that apparently claimed Christian Weston Chandler, most popularly known on the internet as Chris Chan, killed himself by hanging himself with a PlayStation 3 cord. Now, I can find absolutely no confirmation of this anywhere online, and I can assure you if Chris Chan was actually dead, I would have found something on it by now. It literally looks like they posted a falsified suicide story about an internet phenomenon on their Kickstarter video without even attempting to fact check it. I can't... Oh, this is, this is so great. Rebecca Sedwick, the sixth grader, committed suicide last week. Authorities say she suffered nearly a year of cyberbullying. Two girls charged with using Facebook to taunt and bully their 12-year-old schoolmate until she killed herself. They say weeks of constant bullying cost him his life. I don't know, guys. Maybe it's because I spent most of my junior high school life being bullied in real life, like to my face. But I just don't get the cyberbullying thing. Now, I understand when it's people posting compromising photos of you without your consent or, or, or like, trying to get you fired or, like, posting your private information on, like, a, uh, on like an anonymous message board. I get that stuff. That would stress me out like a university student in an unsafe space. Uh, but uh, this general name-calling, I just, I just don't get. Because when I was 12, I mean, I started YouTube when I was 12, and I got hate comments and stuff like that. But it was never nearly as bad as actually being bullied by dicks in real life. That's not to say these aren't tragic stories, they are, but I mean, what's your proposal to fix it? L legally? Like, just make it legal and easy for people to dox people? Come on. We are fostering a society of online bullying, social tormenting, and irresponsible sharing. With the ability to privatize social profiles and use pseudonyms in place of real names, it has been a free-for-all. Excuse me? Privatizing accounts and pseudonyms actually help protect people from this so-called free-for-all. If you're a teenage girl or boy, you have a pseudonym and protected profile so you can say what you want and not get harassed in real life for your opinions or your thoughts. The very things you're complaining about are the very provisions that are in place to help protect against them. It's a sword. You can protect yourself with it, but you can also attack people with it. That's what anonymity is. It is a weapon as much as it is a defense. Why would you want these children's profiles to be 
open to even more people than they already were. The, the, the lunatics are running the asylum. I don't, what is happening? That is, until now. Hey guys, my name is Candace Owens and I am the founder of socialautopsy.com. Hello Candace, my name is Chris. I'm going to dismantle your poorly thought out website. The first ever search database that aggregates people's social behavior and creates real profiles for them. Oh, brilliant. This can't possibly be misused. My team and I came together because we all grew up during this generation of the huge technology boom and we understand the harm that social media like Facebook and Instagram and Twitter has allowed for which is essentially a dehumanization. How can we bring it back to the we don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all, or the old school say it to my face mentality online. Our answer was simple, through accountability. So what we do is we attach their words to their places of employment. Pff, wow, even more brilliant. Now this doesn't affect me. My name is out there, my opinions are out there. I probably couldn't get a real job if I wanted to at this point anyway. But imagine somebody posting faked social media posts to try to get people fired using this platform. I mean, faking profile posts is super easy and you don't even need Photoshop to do it. You can just inspect Element on Google Chrome and you've got what social autopsy would consider damning evidence that you're a terrible person. This is, man, this is such a bad idea. And anybody in the entire world can search for them. What we are doing is figuratively lifting the masks up so nobody can hide behind, you know, Twitter handles or privatized profiles. But again, these things are in place to protect against the kinds of bullying tactics that you are apparently trying to get rid of. How do you not see this? How do you not see this? Are you blind? Are you guys blind? Oh, no. It's, oh, 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 boy. I forgot. That's ableist language. I can't say blind. What, what, what do I say instead? Like sightless? I don't, I don't fucking know. Um, it's all real and it's all researchable. You can still say whatever you want to say on social media, but you have to be willing to stand by your words. We are asking for your donations so that you guys can help us expand this database. What we want to do is clean up the internet so that we can make it a safer place for the individuals that are coming up in generations beneath us. So that's the video they have on their Kickstarter, but they actually have an alternate version that actually goes through the process of how this nonsense works. And it's, uh... Oh, oh, it, it is, it is, it is, uh, it is baffling. A free for all. That is, until now. Introducing Social Autopsy, the first ever search database that compiles and allows the public to easily access the digital footprint of individuals and companies. Our team has crawled through the public interfaces of Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, creating real profiles for the individuals that lob hate speech over the web. These individuals are your teachers, doctors, neighbors, and business owners. And for the first time ever, you will be given the chance to run a real background check on them to see what these people represent behind closed doors. Uh, why you gotta do this in Manhattan? Why you gotta be in Manhattan? Why can't you guys go to San Francisco or something where you fit in? Don't be doing this in my city, you jackasses. Let me show you how it works. Plug in the name of any person, company, or organization. Our database will return any number of profile hits, which can then be narrowed down by city and state. Wow, so it narrows down by city and state. I can't imagine how this tool could possibly be misused by swatters and doxers. I can't, can't even possibly imagine how this could possibly backfire in any conceivable way. When you've located a user, you will be brought to their autopsy report, which will consist of real screenshots of words that they have shared across social media platforms. Want to keep up to date to see if a particular profile has been added to? You can choose to follow an individual or company autopsy report privately to receive automatic email notifications when there has been any movement to that particular profile. Have someone that you'd like to add to our morgue? Have someone that you'd like to add to our morgue? <laughs> this is so this is the worst branding I've ever seen for anything. This is this is like if I made a website called deadbabies.com where you could add people based on what states of fetus they are in relation to their age. When when phrases like autopsy reports and morgue are clever names for sub for subsections of your site. You've really you've getting you've really got to reevaluate your marketing your, your marketing strategy. You just 
at to the morgue. I, c I can't even. This is <laughs> this is so oddly demented. <laughs> Submit them. Our database is continually grown by anonymous submissions from individuals like you. Anonymous submissions. Anonymous submissions. Anonymous submissions. <laughs> oh my god. You fucking idiot. You want to get rid of internet anonymity by building a platform where people can post people's private information anonymously. Guys, I genuinely, I genuinely can't believe what I'm hearing. Is this a joke? Is this Poe's Law in action? I, if I didn't already know for sure that this was a real thing, I would assume this was a joke. Just, wow. Just, wow. And, and, and what, what was she saying earlier in this video? Say it to my face mentality. Anonymous submissions. Say it to my face. Anonymous submissions. I give up. There is no hope for me. I've got to be free. I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what the, what the bit is here. Because why engage in an online back forth argument with friends over insulting statuses and comments when you can instead screenshot their harsh words and privately submit them to our database. Our team will review each and every submission and make it live if it meets our guidelines for harmful speech. Okay, uh, that's all well and good, but what are your guidelines though? Like, what are your guidelines? Because to some people, criticism is harassment, and simply disagreeing is hate speech. This is Orwellian, but I mean, it, it's not going to work. This site is going to be destroyed by internet trolls. It doesn't stand a chance, so I'm not worried about it. I'm, I'm more worried that a bunch of people actually thought this was a, even a good idea in the first place. Simply put, social autopsy is your digital footprint, so be mindful of the words that you share. What the fuck are you talking about? You can't tell me what to do, shit! Video's over.